spray paint and random paint. Is it an art? Welcome to Game Rating Review Vlog. My name is Jean-Marc Lejean, and today I'm going to be talking about Splatoon 2 and something I did, and it is random splattering of, of paint art, and it is spray paint art. I am talking about games like Jet Set Radio, Infamous Second Son, which was a great game. Both of them were. But uh, I traveled over to Graffiti Park at Castle Hills in Austin, Texas. It was great. I got to look around at all the different art that was there, spray paint things. What's fascinating about this place is no matter how many times you go, the art on the wall is going to be different and on the trees. And cacti. I even got to sit there and watch somebody actually do some spray painting while it was there. It was great. And I really enjoyed it, and it made me think about video games with spray paint, you know. It made me think about games with paint in it, using paint as an aesthetic, like Mario Paint, for instance. And games like that, that just use your artistic side to get things done. Now, why did I bring a Splatoon? It's not like you're putting art on the walls. You're just randomly splattering things around. But I think if they did have an artist mode where you could cut things out, throw paint on it, and do different kind of things with that paint, that would be really fun as like some kind of side mode. But uh, I don't think, I think that Splatoon can be an artful game, but you're mostly trying to kill other squids. That's all that comes down to, is just trying to just kill those squids, just right in the face. Splatoon tunes out. Get it. Or not. Or don't get it. Just play Zelda some more. Just be like, I'm going to do a second playthrough of Zelda, because whatever. So, spray paint. That's all I have to talk about. Thank you for watching Game Rating Review Vlog. My name is Jamar Lejean. Please hit like, subscribe, and like you see. And uh, let me know if, uh, you know, you like art. And that's just my opinion on spray paint in games and in life.